Spring finally here, although it's a bit cool outside today, as Tim pointed out. Last week's floodwaters are a bad memory, and it's time for boaters and local marinas to get ready for another season. Local 12 Scott Dimmick is live at Manhattan Harbor Yacht Club with a look at what has to get done before the boaters can uh, actually hit the waters. Hi, Scott. Good evening, Rob. The owners here at the harbor have faced two big challenges already this year. One, a fire that you may remember just after New Year's. The second, heavy rain and flooding last week. Despite all that the owners have gone through, they have one goal, get ready for boating season. Renovations is a big part of this. Uh, everything is going to look new for everybody, and uh, the weather just played a big role in pushing us back probably two weeks. A big reopening at Manhattan Harbor was delayed due to big problems last week, flooding and heavy rain. We want it to be open, obviously, for St. Paddy's Day, uh, but because of the weather, it's obviously been pushed back. Uh, so our target date would probably be April 1st uh, through the 7th. Um, and the renovations that we have obviously have over at the reef going on, too, it's just kind of pushed everything back. While most boats were winterized and sealed, the heavy rain was too much for one boat, which is still flooded a week later. And we also had to have the electric shut off at one point in time um, for three days. So that was really a hindrance to our boaters and to us as well because it stopped our progress. The harbor has turned its focus from the flood to the mud. Once this is cleaned up, Manhattan Harbor says getting to the final step, attracting customers, will be a great pleasure. Getting the restaurants open and the bars, getting ready for our big bike night that's going to be happening, um, our surf nights, um, and it's just really finishing up the renovation process of really the entire harbor. Now in the video you just saw, that's the harbor outside. They're also doing extensive renovations inside. Now over my shoulder you'll notice a lot of mud on the main roads and the walkways going into the harbor. That will need to be cleaned up before people will start to come back in. Now despite all that's going on inside and outside, the owners say they're on track to have all of this done in just a few weeks. Appropriately just in time for the unofficial start of boating season, which according to them is May 1st. Reporting live in Dayton, Kentucky, where by the way, we have a light mix of sleet and rain. I'm meteorologist Scott Dimmick, Local 12 News. Scott, thanks very much. The Ohio River and Cincinnati dropped below 39 feet earlier today and will continue falling this week. No new flooding issues are forecast at the harbor for the next several days at least, but Tim has been talking about.